الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, We had an incident and many people don't know a lot of the background and we did not share some of it because we had an active case going on uh, It was not a normal case and we'll discuss that and inshallah today we will introduce you to at least three new concepts, new ideas, new information that people did not know about, that we were questioned about a lot. Uh, there were reasons why we didn't share those in the past, but we will today, inshallah, in this video. The first one is going to be in the beginning, the second in the middle, and the last in the, in the end, because I don't want people just skipping to the end to try to get the information, inshallah. Tayyib. Um, First thing is, yes, we had an incident at Balboa Park uh, where a assailant came with uh, two weapons. One was a baton, a metal baton, and the second was a knife, and we were attacked there. The video, people have seen most of it. Today we will show you, inshallah, the full version, as much as we have on tape. Um, what people don't realize is what was before the video, meaning that uh, a lot of people assume that this was just somebody who was at the park and he was crazy or on drugs and just... That's not what happened. This was premeditated. Um, this individual was somebody who came to the Muslim community, um, got to earn the trust of the community. Many brothers tried to help him. But unfortunately, he had ill intent. Um, even before that day, uh, he had come to the masjid and he had pulled out a knife on a young child. And subhanAllah, it was, uh, there was a young brother here for Salah. Uh, he pulled out the knife, he tried to uh, harm him, he yelled out uh, racial and anti-Islamic slurs, which tells you that the time that he was spending around getting to know the community, he was, he was planning. May Allah protect us all. And that is why some of the charges that you will see uh, are not just assaults and things, but have to do with hate crimes. Um, unfortunately, the brothers did not call the police on him. They didn't. And, and this is the thing with the Muslim community. We always try to be nice. People tried to help him, and he was threatening them, demanding money of them. Um, you know, very sad. Uh, people were trying to help him, and he was trying to harm them. Um, he left that day, um, that night, this is Saturday, we had an event uh, at the masjid. So because this happened uh, in the morning, we reached out to our liaison in the police department. And alhamdulillah, he was here. Uh, there's police presence because we were expecting uh, this person to come back. Uh, that night, he didn't show up. So subhanAllah, everything was fine. Next morning on Sunday, we went uh, to the park as we always do. And subhanAllah, uh, this guy comes to the park. Qadr uh, from Allah. <laughs> um, when I was driving up, uh, I saw this guy. You know, like, I, I, I knew he was somebody that I had seen before. I knew that he was off. I saw him and I thought, huh, that's strange. Um, and because the brothers had reported to me what had happened, I saw him at a bus stop because you know, I was going to the uh, park, and I thought, man, I hope he's not here with ill intent. But I said, tawakkul ala Allah. And we went, alhamdulillah, we started the da'wah. And as I was speaking to the Jesus people, the Jesus, Korean Jesus, Korean Jesus. <laughs> subhanAllah, you get all types, right? Um, we saw him start off with the very bad language. And we'll go through the video, but while the camera was on me, he was already on the other side uh, yelling curse words and uh, Islamophobic terms, uh, racial terms, uh, threats. Um, and at that time, may Allah reward our brother uh, Abu Ibrahim and also brother Mish'al, I mean brother uh, Mujahid uh, and other brothers who first approached him. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how that first interaction, because that's not on tape yeah, because the true. camera was still recording me. So. So subhanAllah, yeah, and we're at the park like any other day. Usually when the brothers, when the time for Asr comes in, we'd pray in two or three groups depending on how many brothers were there. I went to usually call the Adhan, so I lifted my arms up and I was going to give the Adhan and then I saw this person come and then he started like, you terrorists, these people are terrorists, don't listen. So he started yelling. 
So at first I was like taken aback, like what's going on? <laughs> like, because I vaguely I've seen the person before, so I was, like him coming and starting to yell like that, somebody who was in the message before, it threw me uh, back. I was like, what, what, what's going on? So brother Mujahid walked up to him and he started talking to him. He started yelling at Mujahid and he had a baton with him and he was swinging it like he's going to hit him. Hmm. So then Mujahid backed off. So then I walked up to the guy and I'm like, calm down. What's wrong? He's yelling. He's just going like totally like crazy. Like these people don't listen to them. They're, they're going to take your wives. They're going to take your kids. They're going to blow you <laughs> up. Like too much. Ajay. Subhanallah. Uh, I tried to calm him down. I walked up. I had this same vest on, so I had my hands in my pocket. So as I was talking, like, what's going on? It's pretty cold, right? So he got really, really agitated, and he tried to swing at me. So I, I went back, and I showed him, like, I did, like, like, there's nothing in my hands. Like, what's going on? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? I was trying to calm him down. Like, who who harmed you? What are you doing if you're coming? Like... That, that's the first thing that would come to someone's mind, right? If somebody's this like yeah. agitated, like somebody harmed him, he's coming to get to revenge, like, or something. revenge or something. But like, what's going on? Like it totally threw us aback. Like, and he started saying very, very vulgar things, subhanAllah. Astaghfirullah. So as I walked up to him with my hands out, he came back like there was a place, if you see those places with the arches hmm. in the video, He's, he goes in that area and he takes on a knife. He's like, look, see this knife? I'm going to cut you. Come here. I'm going to cut you. And he's like, come here, you know? I was like, this guy is like, <laughs> I'm not going to mess with him. Man. SubhanAllah, we did our adhkar. I mean, one of the most important things every Muslim should do, adhkar al-masal was sabah. Yeah, and he, at least, at least, Bismillah, al-lazhi la yadurru ma'asmin shayin fil azzi wa la sama'i wa huwa sami'i al-alim. Yani, at least. يعني لن يصيبنا إلا ما كتب الله لنا يعني you have that iman you go and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa taala accept everything for the sake of Allah يعني if something were to happen يعني نعود بالله يعني it's for the sake of Allah الشهداء إن شاء الله اللهم تقبل منا ومنك آمين فالحمد لله وشكر الله يعني he he wanted to cause a scene and subhanallah he had this clip on his uh, on his uh, yeah that little he had a backpack, backpack or something some sort of clip so at first, I thought this guy, he was like a sleeper cell or something, and he came in, and then he wanted to get like some sort of response to clip a video together. So that's what came to my mind, because I saw that clip. So I don't that's interesting you mentioned that, because uh, when I spoke to the detective, not the original police officer mm -hmm. that came, um, the first detective, not the one that ended up be getting assigned, um, one of the reasons he said, do not uh, post uh, the identity or full videos and things, because they wanted to investigate whether he was sent by somebody. Oh, um, okay. in, interesting about. investigation into his past, which we didn't know because mm. we had seen who he was, we had heard about his uh, incident in the masjid, but what we didn't know is that he had also done the same kind of a thing with uh, another group out there um, at the park. Uh, not a Muslim group, but another group, a Buddhist group. Mm. And before that, he had been arrested alongside, causing some trouble alongside with the Christian group, that he was with the Christian group. So the investigation that uh, went on was to look up his ties, mm. uh, whether he had ties to any of the people that had come out to the park before, whether he was sent by anybody. Um, there are some things that did come up, and we'll talk about why there was hate charges put on that. Um, but he had done a similar thing. Unfortunately, that group, the Buddhist group that had been attacked by him before, didn't press charges and that's one of the reasons we did because these kinds of people if you don't if you don't stand up to them if you don't stop them they will continue that pattern of abuse so Unfortunately, yes. so so that's a good thing you looked at mashallah yeah, alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah so he went back and tried to get me to to cause something i i assume so khalas. i left him mm -hmm. i went back to my area i was going to give the call to prayer i started giving adhan for salat al asr and subhanAllah, as I'm giving the adhan, he started yelling, Astaghfirullah, stuff about Allah, Muhammad. Allah. And that's when Shaykh Uthman snapped and <sighs> walked uh, out to him, subhanAllah. <laughs> subhanAllah, in the beginning, um, I was speaking to that couple the, that believed in Korean Jesus. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had already been speaking to them. The da'wah was going very well. I thought, and we were, we were conveying a message. And when he came, you can see in the video that is posted already, 
when I'm speaking to them, they can hear him and, I'm, and they're like, hey, do you get this a lot? And I'm trying to ignore him because I don't want to ruin the da'wah. We're out yeah, there to call towards Tawheed, to call towards the Quran, Sunnah, to call yeah. towards the Haqq. That takes precedence. So I was trying to keep the focus, but you can see in the video, they also get distracted. Obviously, they got a guy with a weapon, he's yelling and making death threats. It kind of throws off the, the vibe of having a good conversation. Yeah. So when they left, at first I said, you know what, we're just going to let this go. SubhanAllah. I mean, the brothers already saw that they had spoken to him, and I was like, you know, we're just going to continue. When he started, na'udhu billah, I mean, this is why uh, even the brothers that posted, I told them to uh, edit out a lot of the curse because I just couldn't stand it. I mean, it's just, uh, it was very vulgar. Uh, he spoke ill about his Rabb, subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, it's not just our Rabb. Allah is the Rabb of everybody. He spoke against Salah. He made fun of the Salah. He made comments against Islam. And subhanAllah, what's amazing, and you don't see this so much in the video, but as for us who were there, a lot of people that were there, yep. non-Muslims, were telling him, leave them alone. Like yeah. non-Muslims were standing up against him as well. Yeah. And you will see, when I, even when I'm walking back, you will see non-Muslims that are yelling at him and saying, go home. Yeah, you know, right. And that's why I repeated that as well. Because others, and as the police mentioned, many of the people that had stalls out there that day, non-Muslims did uh, testify against him as well. Yes. Um, so alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, this is something that was very important. Let's uh, bring up the video now and we'll just talk a little bit about um, what happened as, and inshallah, we'll add the video to the screen. So as people are seeing, then we will talk about that. So the first piece of information is that this person had been at the masjid before. He had pulled the knife on a person at the masjid before. He had been stalking the Muslim community and he had been planning this. This is not something that was at random. Sayyib. Uh, now this is where we're already going back towards him and you can see him here uh, I'm gonna pause it you can see him he has the weapon and he pauses to attack me he take he gets in the attack phase mm. and Many people were telling me, why would you walk up to somebody who had a weapon and this and this? And, and to be very honest with you, I mean, uh, when somebody curses the deed, this is too much. I couldn't yeah, take it, you know? Like I thought, head. subhanAllah, if he kills us, what, what's the worst thing that will happen? We'll become shuhada. Allahumma zaraqna shahada. Allahumma razaqna ani as shahada fi sabillah. May Allah Amen. give us to be those that become martyrs. We're out there calling towards Tawheed. And if somebody kills us because of that, khalas, we're martyrs. Alhamdulillah. Well, what's, what's this life for us? Um, so I approached him. I told him, look, if you're going to hit me, hit me. Do it. Do it. You're not doing nothing. Hit me. Hit me. And subhanAllah, this is an important point for the Muslim community who is so afraid nowadays, so afraid to even say that they're Muslim, so afraid to stand up for the Sharia, to stand up for the Quran and Sunnah. When you stand up, the kuffar, the people of yani, uh, the people of hatred, the people that are haters, they will run. Yes. I mean, this day, subhanAllah, none of us were armed. Uh, I wasn't, uh, Brother Abu Rahim wasn't, Mujahid was none of us were armed. This person had a weapon, he showed us his weapon, he threatened us. Here in the video, you'll see him swing at me and all of that. And I kept rushing at him and he ran. Yeah. SubhanAllah, he ran away. So you'll see, he tries to swing at me here. And I told him, hit me, hit me. And SubhanAllah, he, he runs back. He's the one with the weapon and he's running. Yeah, he was hitting the pole here. He was hitting the pole, yeah. He was hitting the pole, he's hitting the side. Uh, I chased after him. Uh, you know, Pashtuns have a little screw loose anyway, so what can you do, right? You see where you stopped it before when he had the, the baton up? Yes. So the guy that was taking your video here, he's on the right of the, 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 the enclosement, the mm -hmm. kind of thing. I was on the left to give the, and then from where I was standing, he was right in front of you, so I thought he was actually right. So, so he like was... You're it too much. SubhanAllah, he was... Only a couple of feet away from me. Yeah, subhanAllah. And one of the times he swung, I could, you know, I could feel it. Mm. And the interesting thing here, subhanAllah, when I went after him in the enclosement, now in the video, you can't really see it because enclosed, yeah. he starts to run away. He's, I mean, he's not running, but he's walking away. So I continued to walk towards him. When I, and you'll see in a minute, when I, he backs up, I told him, Khala, so I back up. He comes running after me now, now that I have my back to him. Yes, and this time he had the knife, you know. 
And subhanAllah, I turned around and I just darted at him. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, he ran away again. Yani, this is the thing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if Allah protects somebody, nobody can harm them. Yeah, we have to have that tawakkul Allah. Um, and you'll see that again, when I come back out, he comes again. SubhanAllah. And I can hear him run at me, but as soon as I turn around, he screeches and stops. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> SubhanAllah. It's like nifaq, yani. SubhanAllah. Yeah. It's nothing, yani. Ah, this is the thing uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told about from the khasas of this ummah is the ru'b, yani, is that yeah. Allah will put an honor uh, that, that an enemy from a month's distance would fear and so on. But we forget this today. Yeah, today so everybody's just, I just want people to accept me. Oh, I want, you know, oh, we don't say this, don't say that, don't, don't, oh, you know, so many people. But when you stand with Izzah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you Nusra. Allah will give you support. Allah will protect you. We're not doing anything wrong. We're at a park calling people towards the truth, towards the oneness of Allah. If somebody attacks us, khalas, I mean, we have to be uh, believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah will protect us. And if it's written for us that we are harmed, it's the best for us. I mean, we will take it as uh, expiation for our sins. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So here, this is uh, another part of the information that people didn't realize that he did come at us with a knife under twice again. Um, it's, you can't see it because of the covering, but this is something and we'll see it in the charges that he has given. Um, SubhanAllah, when I'm coming back out, and it's interesting that even many of the non-Muslims here are yelling. They're telling him, leave them alone. Go home. They all talk, they all talk. But when you walk up to them, nobody's a man. Uh, and this is something amazing. We've seen this before when we had the other Reuben guy come out with his people a long time ago. Non-Muslims, they made a circle around us. You know, at that time, and they locked arms, they stopped him from getting to us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us in many different ways. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, many soldiers that we don't realize. Um, now, uh, another information that people don't realize is what did we do afterwards? We didn't run away. We didn't go, oh man, I just got attacked. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so nervous, PTSD, I want to go home. <laughs> Instead, we went back to the table and continued our da'wah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And this video that we are going to uh, go over after we kind of discuss a little bit, um, is footage we have not posted, but this shows us going right back and giving da'wah, and you'll see the police that came, and we have different types, we have uh, the park police, we have San Diego PD, and they're taking our account, uh, they're, they're going on what happened, uh, they wrote the incident down, and so on and so on, and at the same time, we continued our da'wah, because this is another lesson for the Muslim Ummah, no matter what happens, we need to continue the good that we're doing, you know, we, if you are a scholar of hadith, if you're a scholar of Quran, if you're a a teacher of fiqh, if you're a da'i, calling towards tawheed, continue what you're doing. Don't worry about, oh, what's going on here in politics and this and that. And, oh, you know, some people are so caught up with the signs of the day of judgment. Oh, the signs, I'm just going to go sit in a cave somewhere. No, no. You need to continue your responsibilities, right? Please. When is the day of judgment? How many signs have come? It's an interesting subject, but that doesn't mean that we stop what we're doing. We need to continue our da'wah. So even if we get attacked, even if we get killed, uh, the, whoever is shuhada or shuhada, the rest of the people continue your work. And this is the way of the Sahaba they were, they, were, they were dedicated to the purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. Um, so we continued, alhamdulillah. Uh, before we play that, um, I will talk about, and you will see on the screen, the charges that were brought up against him. Um, and this is uh, important because it is not just somebody who came to the park and went nuts or came to the park and ran into one of us and we had like altercation. This is somebody who planned this out, who had already attacked somebody at the masjid, who had come to the park that day with that intent. And that's why when you look at the charges, you have uh, threat crime uh, to cause death. Yani he was somebody that was threatening and using a way to try to cause death, and you can see the bail amount is $50,000. Um, the second is uh, an exib exhibiting a deadly weapon, uh, not a firearm, but not a gun, but you know, as we mentioned, and they caught him with both of them, which was a metal baton and a knife. And the last one being the hate crime. Um, why is that important? Because 
this was something that was focused against Muslims. Um, if you look at what happened in the past, we had uh, the time that David Wood was out, we had one of his people put a uh, note on my car and scratch the car, and we know it was them. And now, uh, I will also share this, that um, there have been some connections found. I mean, it's not that his past is clear of Christian groups, not enough to be able to bring charges or to be able to bring anybody else in, but um, Allahu alam. I mean, what the background on that is. But either which way, Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected us. We ask Allah for afiyah. We ask Allah to protect all the Muslims, to protect us, and continue to grow the da'wah. And uh, inshallah, we will show you now the third, uh, which is what happened afterwards. Come talk to us, no? So, what do you think about Crusades and, and Muhammad? Please be upon him. I don't either, but, but tell me about it. The Crusades were Christians attacking Palestine, or? Yeah, I don't agree with that either. Really? But I mean, the Crusades were not started by. Yeah, but you can't really force Islam because. But but Muhammad. No, no, but that's not true because when when the Muslims ruled Palestine. Show me. Uh, I'm, I'm here. Let's take a look. So 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 when you look, are you Christian? I am. Okay. So when you look in the Bible about killing Amalek, what do you think about that? Come, let me show it to you. About what? Let me show it to you. You're standing a little far for me to yell at. Then come closer. Do you know about the attack on Amulek? Huh? It is. So do you believe the Old Testament is not from God? It is important. So, go ahead. So when you look at uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, Verse 3, go, now go and attack Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. That was at that time. But is that okay? Do you think that's justified? So it's okay to kill infant nursing children Well, if God says so? That's scary. So you're saying if God tells you to go kill infant nursing children, but that, that he did in the Bible. Who did that? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Who did that in the Bible? There was also the God ordered it in the Bible, right? It's not God ordered it. It's not God ordered it. Okay. No. Okay. No, it's totally different. Who's ordering it? There is kind of, I don't know, like a king, like Pharaoh or something. Like Pharaoh? No, the no, 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 Lord? Like king, kind of like Thus says the Lord. Is this I, I the Lord? I got this book, but according to this is the Islam, Bible. <laughs> Where did I get this book? <laughs> no, 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 no. According have to Have you Islam, seen? Have you seen the Bible? To Islam, uh -huh. you to your book. Okay. All the stories. Okay. It was like a king. In no, 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 no. That's not true. We listen to your stories. You Which story? Listen, let us go and keep talking. Which story? No, no. Come talk to me from the Bible. I'm just telling you my version of story. Oh, but I don't want your version. I want the textual I version. Don't, I don't know. I it don't says know. the Lord okay. sent. It, it's I'm okay? I'm talking about your Quran. Okay. I grew up in the Middle East. I've been working where, in where in the Middle East are you? In Lebanon. I do not know the Middle East. But I'm just talking. Like I grew up in there. I'm telling you the version, the story what's happening in Islam, what they say. But this is not in Islam. This is not old. We don't even have no, this no, no, in the Quran. No. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. Amulek, it's attack. You know, what do you say? Yeah, there there was a king. No, I'm not picking. This is Bible right here. Right? I know. The Bible so, uh, is so, yeah. so it is correct. So you're saying God ordered the killing of infant children. There was a reason. There was a reason. There is a No, 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 no. It says in the Bible, the Lord. He got you know kind of people. They told him that there's uh, the Lord is someone who's gonna go, and this elephant is gonna be dangerous on you. So he decided to kill all elephants. And guess oh, what? No, Jesus, about the Jesus the Lord. Part, yeah, yeah, Jesus the Lord. He wasn't. I know that's the yeah, New this Testament. Is kind of like but this is, the, this is the Old Testament. Yeah. The it is the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the o Old Testament was from God or no? It is. It just says God destroyed the world with a flood. Because right, but, it was but, evil back then. So God thought infant nursing children should be massacred? I do believe in Noah's flood. So, but that's not massacring, so killing little children, right? Everyone. No, no, no. But, but, but there's a difference between dying in a flood. How is it different? Okay, let me let me tell you a difference. Okay, let me let me tell you a difference. Okay, let's say let's say somebody's sleeping at night and there's an earthquake and they die. Is there a crime? 
God may have caused it or have okay. allowed it. Look, so is there a crime committed? No, there's no okay. crime. Okay, let's say you go at night. That is also let me, not let, a me crime let me, let me, let me, let me explain it. Let me because okay, I, go ahead. No, because I'll let you God, speak. God told them mm -hmm. that they were to do that. That was important at that so time. So you believe God would order human beings to go and kill infant nursing babies? At that time, at that mean, time. That was the only you believe way. that's that's God, fair and God just? Has, not, not in this time. God has not told. So in that time, fair and just was different than so this what time. About Abraham and Isaac. He what about Isaac? Kill his son, right? But he didn't but kill he his son. Didn't. He no, no, he was not told so to kill. Logic, let me let me explain it. Let me explain it. Okay. The issue of Abraham and Isaac was a test. It right? showed not okay. only that it showed what would happen with me, with God and His Son. Let me finish. It, was a, it, was it a did not. We, we, we do not believe that. But let me that's because deep, in that, that example, Isaac didn't up, die. That's why. Right? Yeah, you have a. He so in, in your we believe it was mine. Okay. Just so like in your case, the did the son die or no? Did the son die or no? According to Jesus, Jesus didn't die. Jesus did. So then that example doesn't work. What, he didn't want him to keep, uh, to kill mm. Isaac, but he said, look, I'm going to provide the lamb. He provides gotcha. the lamb. Mm. So do you I believe in very, somebody else dying I for your sins? Hard, but you should open your heart. My heart only is one, open. There's only, there's only one, one God, and there's only Absolutely. one way. There's that is the Quran and the way of the Prophet You're wrong. So Show sorry. me. Show me in the Quran anything. Let me show you clear contradictions in the Bible, okay? I'm not now, interested. Why not? You're not interested because you know this book is fabricated. No. Here, Jehovah Chin. Too, this is a king. Which translation is correct? I, don't, I guess with Old Testament would be Hebrew and the New Testament. Hebrew would be is a translation. Greek, would be written in Greek. So, okay, so according. No. And so Martin I got Luther, you. I got you. Best. Just give me one second. <laughs> I, don't know I got that original presenting. Greek. I don't know what you're presenting me. Okay. I don't know if that's correct. Okay. If you go home and take a look at your Bible at home and find the same things, then I really don't speak Greek and I don't speak Hebrew. So Martin how would you know the message of God? Translated into German, so that's probably okay. a pretty close translation. Okay. So. In English, you you speak German? I do. Okay. Yeah. Which Bible do you read in German? The Luther. The Luther. Okay. If you go to the Luther Bible in German and find the exact same numeric contradiction, will you then believe me? This is not numeric contradiction. Let me this show it to you. I don't even show it to you yet. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he became king and reigned in Jerusalem for three months. How old was he? It says 18, 18. right there, but okay. I don't, that doesn't make a difference. In the second Chronicles, Jehoiachin was eight years old. So you did already know there's a contradiction. Clear. Eight no, or 18 are clear are numeric instead contradictions. Of, instead of Let me ask whole, you something. Whole, is there you have a counterfeit book that was written by one person? Who, who, wrote, who, wrote, who wrote the Quran? Uh, Muhammad. He couldn't read or write. How could he write it? Yeah, that's, a, that's <laughs> the joke, right? That, that, that's yeah, the joke that's on you. Believe, no, that, that's why you're... You guys, but historically, yeah. the scholars so of many, history have so agreed that so Muhammad, many. peace be upon him, could not physically write the Quran. Yeah, you know that, right? Muhammad is dead right now. He's of course. resurrection of course. Return. Look, look, everybody will die in this world. This life right. is meant for death. Yeah. Jesus, peace be upon him, when he comes back, he will die as well. And he'll come back as a follower of the Prophet back, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Everybody. Allah will resurrect everybody, not Jesus. Jesus, the one that Allah, the Allah that Jesus prayed to. Who did Jesus pray to? To the Father. So the Father is stronger than him. No, they're all in one. How do you pray to somebody and he's the same as you? He was on earth. He took on man. So he was no longer God. He was God. He still is God. Was he fully God on earth? Yes, he was. Then he would know the hour. He, could, he said even he could call the angels down. How, could, the, how could God not know when the hour is? At that point, because he... Then he was no longer he, God. He is. You can't be a he square circle. Humanity. If he knows everything, that's the sifa of God. He that's how God is. He if he, that means he was no longer fully God. Because he didn't know, right? No, he did. He did know the hour, but in the Bible it says no, nobody knows the hour. He does know the hour right now. It says the there nobody knows the hour, even the sun. He took on at that time. So at, at that, that time he time, didn't know. At that point in time, became, he became. If he us. didn't know, that means he wasn't God, because God knows everything. He, is. he was at all times. How can God know everything and not know? He does know everything. But at that time he didn't. Only Christ. 
Jesus Christ, when he was on earth, was he fully God? He is. And he still so is. when he was fully God and didn't know the hour, when he said even the son doesn't know, how could he not he know? He you know that doesn't make years. sense. It does make sense. Because okay, let me just say it one more time. Foolishness. Okay? Does God know everything? Man's wisdom is foolishness. Does God know everything? God. And you're, Does you're God know right? everything? Okay. Did Jesus at that time know the hour? No, he doesn't, not at that time. So that means he is not God because you because just said God knows everything. If he didn't know, he was no longer God. Can God die? God doesn't die. He, he died on the cross. God doesn't die. He did not on die the on the cross. cross. He did not die. He did. He did not. He took, he paid. Let me, let me explain this again. If you don't accept them, See, again, you accept you're, them you're, you're jumping because you have no answer. If God knows everything, does God know everything? Absolutely. Then when Jesus didn't know the hour, he could not be God because he didn't know the hour. So that means he was no longer God. So that means he was no longer God, right? He is, and he was, and he always will be. You said God knows everything, and then you said Jesus didn't know the hour. That means he was not God. Your wife calls. Go answer your wife's call. Thank you. Turn to Allah, worship the one that Christ worshiped. Wow. God died. No, he's like, God knew everything, but he didn't know anything. But he has to know everything, and then he didn't know. So. كل السعائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية